All right, so today we're going to be talking about translations. And by translations, I mean geometric translations, which is a subset of all the transformations that can happen with geometric shapes. So translations, uh, let's think about it in like a real-life context rather than just in math. So when you translate something from English to Spanish, it's different in the sense that the words change because of the different language, but the meaning is the exact same. So if I said, I want to go to the bathroom, there's a Spanish way of saying that, going to the bathroom, and it's the same, but it's just changed the words. And so with translations and geometry, it's the same shape. We're not going to change the shape, meaning like the meaning of the sentence. We're just going to move it, meaning we're going to uh, change the words around or change its location around. So that's what translating a geometric shape means. So when it says translate, what it's saying is it just wants you to move the shape. The, the meaning doesn't change or the size of the shape doesn't change. The shape doesn't change at all, so it's not going to become a triangle to a quadrilateral or a square and a square to a pentagon. It's, if it's a triangle, it's going to stay a triangle. All we're doing is moving it around the graph. And then it says translation, five units right and one unit up. So what you do is you go point by point, so there's point G, point T, and point B on the graph, and you just literally follow the instructions, five units right, one unit up. So from, I'm going to start at point G, and so I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five units to the right. And then from there, I'm going to go one unit up, plot my point, and there is point G. Now, with point G, so there's the original point G, and then there's this thing called G prime. So G prime is what that is called now because it is, essentially, it's G, but it's moved a little bit, so the apostrophe, or prime, means it's the same thing, but just it's moved. All right, now let's move to point T. So we go one, two, three, four, five to the right, one up, draw the point, and there is T. But remember, it's the same point, but moved differently, so we're going to put T prime or T apostrophe. All right, now let's go to B. Again, just five units right, one unit up. One, two, three, four, five. One unit up, draw the point, and there's point B. But again, this will be called B prime. And then, after you're done with that, let's fill in the triangle. So notice how the triangle shape and the triangle size is the exact same. The only thing that's different is it's translated or it's moved. And so that is how you translate a geometric shape. Works for squares, works for any other geometric shape. When there's just more points on the shape, you just have that many more points to move. But that's the basic way of how you translate a shape.